everyone, I'm Genevieve and it's great to be back with you again. This project for Family Day is called Dreaged Rocks and after I've shown you how to make your mark with rocks and stones, you'll be going on a virtual walk with Emily where she will lead you on a rock hunt on Tuesday the 22nd. The first ever art created by humans was made with natural colours and rocks. This one was made around 3,000 years ago. Hundreds and thousands of years later, we still love to use rocks and stones to make our mark. The Island Rocks Facebook page has over 3,800 followers and is packed full of rock painting ideas for you to try. Next time you're out on a walk, keep an eye out for interesting shaped or coloured pebbles and see if the shape reminds you of anything. If an idea doesn't come straight away, pass the stone on to someone else and see if they can think about what the stone could be. Sometimes this game lasts the whole walk. I keep my collection of stones in a flower pot, which I like to empty out from time to time. Why don't you have a go? Playing like this can help you look closely at the shapes and colours of the stones. This can trigger ideas for drawing onto the stones or making pictures out of them. Let's try to make as many pictures as we can using the stones we've collected. Michelangelo was one of the world's most famous sculptors. He said inside every stone there was a sculpture inside of it. Let's see if we can find anything inside this stone. If I look at it this way, I can find a dog's face. Here's the nose, here's the mouth, there's a sleepy eye, and that could be an ear. I like to use chalks to decorate the stones. This way, my picture can wash off over time and I can turn it into something else. Let me show you how.
We would love to see your additions to Drift Rocks. Like Emily's poem says, you have what it takes, you know what to do, the ideas are waiting inside of you. Please send us your pics, have fun and see you next time.